Children, the hour is upon you, where you will learn the new meaning of gratitude. Very few among you express gratitude, except once a year. Some of you do thank me for your food. But what about the other things, tangible and intangible things I give you? Seldom does anyone thank me when they put on their shoes or clothes each day, or even when they make a purchase. No, instead they whip out a credit card and don't for a minute think about the job I have granted them. Nor do they thank me for the card that gets them to their job. No, the only time I hear anything about their car is when something doesn't work as it should. If you thank me that their children are working in my spirit, if you thank me for the shelter that they have, particularly when so many here and abroad do not have a roof over their head. How will you cope when all things that are a part of your everyday life is suddenly missing? Will you thank me for your life, or will you complain that those wonderful gifts I bestowed upon you are suddenly gone? I expect most will cry out in sorrow and rage, because the tangible things that people take for granted are suddenly no longer. I am the God of all things. I give and allow things to be taken away. How will you respond when all you have is the clothing you wear? Will you still serve me? Many will turn away. I already know this, and I can accept it because the faith that they had was marginal and depending only on getting more blessings. What will happen when you are unable or unauthorized to use your bank account? What will happen when there is no more job? What happens when your home is taken away? Some of you live as if the same all, same all will continue. I am the God that changes not, but that doesn't mean that your circumstances won't change. No, the winds of evil are blowing, and soon your world will be so topsy-turvy that the only thing you can count on is me. But will you come to me? Will you trust me? Will you still sing my praises in the bad times? Will you trust me to be your provider then? Many will not, because they never sought to comprehend that there is absolutely nothing that doesn't flow from my hand. Thus, when things go south, they rely on their flesh to turn things around, and many will embrace the mark to continue to enjoy the benefits of employment, shelter, and food. Those of you who trust in your own flesh will for the most part walk away from me and my promises forever because they will think it too hard to rely upon me. It grieves me deeply to know how little faith some among you have. Now is the time to seek me. Now is the time to draw near to me so that you can learn of my ways and trust in my strength alone. I love you, my beloved children, and I want only the best for you. Yet so many of you don't truly believe this. I gave you my son because you are precious to me, but still you stray, O oh, you of little faith. Come, come to me this hour, for some time to turn to me will be no more for so many. I want the best for you. And I will make a way when there seems to be no way, because I am a miracle-working God. You are my beloved. Come now, in this hour, search me in my word for understanding. My apostles lived by faith, and they had all they needed. They were not wealthy, as man counts wealth, but they had food, shelter, and my Holy Spirit to guide and direct them. Follow their example and trust me for your needs and wants. I am your loving Father.